Good afternoon. We are soggy. We are dreary as more steady rain continues to fall across the region. Here's a live look in Roanoke with our Carillion sky cam. You see the fog. You can't see the mountains as the visibility is being reduced by some steadier rain pushing through the star city as we speak. You see it here. A nice little spiral weak area of low pressure sliding up. That's helping to pull some moisture in and of itself. More thunderstorms developing out of central North Carolina and really working its way in. The heaviest rain now across parts of the New River Valley. We also have this tropical disturbance we've been talking about for the past several days, and that is continuing to lift moisture up the west coast of Florida and in. More rain working in off the Atlantic coast as a big chunk of high pressure pushes it in from out to sea. Again, some steady rain sliding in now from the highlands all the way down into the New River Valley. The heaviest rain into parts of the New River Valley right now. Some embedded thunderstorms trying to get going across south side right now. A few spots in and around Charlotte Courthouse in Rustburg. We are dry right now. That is moving into you. Chatham just off to the west. Nice healthy downpour sliding up. Alta Vista, you'll be in on these rain showers coming up at about quarter to one. Gretna at about 1217 Kingston just after one o'clock, taking you back over into the New River Valley. Rural Retreat has some very, very heavy rain falling right now in and around the 77 corridor through Withville. And again, this is going to continue for the next several days. Future Tracker doing a nice job pinpointing that heavy rain again. Scattered showers working their way up through the course of the evening. There is seven o'clock more heavy rain on a scattered scale works its way through and really this is the same story different day all the way through Saturday. More scattered showers tomorrow morning. A lot of us are dry tomorrow with a few stray showers and then you see what happens again. We'll see more scattered showers pop up as we get through the rest of Thursday into Friday. One to three inches of additional rain on top of what we've already seen will be possible. Some places could even pick up three, four, five inches of rain. So we are watching this situation closely as we could go from being on the drier side to start May to now be dealing with a little bit of flooding. So keep that in mind. Temperature wise now we are back into the 60s and 70s where it hasn't been raining a lot. We are closing in on 80 degrees in South Boston and Danville. We've been stuck more in the clouds along in west of the Blue Ridge. We're in the 60s to around 70. It has been warm though. This may end up being the first below average day for parts of the area since May began through the first 15 days. We are showing all red boxes here. That's every single day so far in May has been above average. That accounts to be 9.3 degrees above normal for the month of May so far. If May ended today, it'd be far and away the hottest May on record. Still half a month to go, but really no signs of the warmth leaving us quite yet. For the rest of today, scattered storms are with us tonight. You guessed it. More showers coming our way. Temperatures in the middle 60s. It's going to be wet tomorrow and Friday back to the mid to upper 70s. Again, relatively cooler, still above average. A little bit warmer getting into the second half of the weekend. If you were trying to get outside, the best opportunity is to do that late Saturday into Sunday. And then we will see more rain come back early next week, Jessica. Yeah, not many opportunities to go outside looking at that extended forecast. Not at all. We can use <laughs> the rain. It's helping with the allergies as we keep on talking about. Thankful for that. But it is gloomy out there for sure. Yeah, I'm enjoying the cool down, mm -hmm. but when it rains, it's coming it at a price for sure. Mm, thanks, Jonathan.